Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Plus vs. Zombies. And now for Survival Roof Hard. Which I don't know, I even know how I should do this. I've been trying to do rows instead of columns for strategies in the past few levels. But I don't know if I can really do that right now. I don't know if I can put a cob cannon on this level somehow. Maybe, I don't know. So let's set up a fairly simple defense, I think, for this one. I'm tempted to use garlic, so I'm going to do that. Um, what else do I want? I mean, there's several things that I want, but I'm probably going to have to wait a few rounds to do them. So let's actually get a coffee bean and a magnet shroom in there somewhere, hopefully. And maybe some tall nuts. So let's go with this, except that I also want to make sure that I have a rake. I don't know if that saved my stuff, but it's fine. Probably didn't. I probably should have started- no, I can't start the round. Otherwise it wouldn't work. Okay. It wouldn't have counted. Here we go. I've missed the roof already, apparently. The roof is such a good theme. I mean, it's all the same general theme, but the way it sounds different in each part of the game is really cool. The zombies like it, they're dancing. I didn't grab something to do with that straight away, that's a shame. Gonna have to just put something in. Come on, take it out, take it out, take it out. I think it should be fine, but also it's so close. Need to butter it up or something. Use butter. Works every time. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> I'm definitely going to change things as I go along, but also this is... It's its weird that they all kind of go to the middle lane like this. But then how can I really optimize that for helpful... in a helpful way? Because it needs something other than that to make it really work. Because otherwise it's going to be too stressful later on. But maybe just focusing on the middle... Three lanes might work? I don't know. Also, this is another problem where they drop in from the sky at the end as well. So I'm going to have to change a few things. Anyway. Okay, next up we have pole vaulting zombies and jack-in-the-box zombies. Well, let's figure it out then. Probably gonna have to try some different stuff. At least a little bit. I don't know what to do about... Yeah, I think I will just have to keep doing that. Let's go with this and see how we go. Coming. 
Oh, so this means that we need a double garlics because the pole vaulting zombies. It's a lot of garlic. I don't know how much I can keep up with it though. So I'm gonna need to extend my defenses out a little bit more. Oh boy, wasn't ready for that. Well, I'm somehow still alive and we're up to the big wave of this round, so... I'm probably going to regret the strategy that I'm currently going with, though. Very easily regret what's happening right now. like that Tolna is still standing somehow, but it's also only slightly damaged, so. I mean, it is damaged, so that's something that we need to be concerned about, but still. Let's see how this goes. They shall attack us on the rooftop. And they may defeat us, but they will never take out all of our garlic. Maybe. Might be a bit hopeful. Just gonna keep clearing out the middle. If I can. I really wish I could, like, place over damaged plants, just, like, in general. Because I really want to replace my, like, upgrade my garlic so it lasts longer or something. Repair it. Okay, here we go. Considering I have changed the strategy up a lot, it's still somehow working. Just gonna do a clean slate for this round. And keep working on stuff. Slowing them down has helped a lot because it means I can do more damage to them before they can actually reach everything else. Running out of sun, that's not good. Probably should hold off a bit. This is actually working so well that my garlic hasn't been destroyed. But I'm sure it's going to change in the next round. Or the round after. Okay, now for the tough stuff. Maybe. Ladder zombies and bungee zombies. That is definitely going to be something to, like, to keep in mind. I'm not sure how well I can do that. But I might be able to just do it. 
Maybe. Hasn't been as difficult as I've been expecting it to be. So far. It helps that I've been slowing them down before they can even do anything. Come on, eat the garlic. I, I, I believe in you. There we go. Perfect timing. Oh, you ate both of those garlics. I need to repair that area up a little bit. Actually, I can actually put pumpkins onto the garlics because they will just keep the garlics longer and then I can just take stuff out. Basically. It's a shame about that, but that's fine. I'll let it happen. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. I'm getting overwhelmed. Okay, it's fine. Mostly. I didn't think about them taking away my garlic, though. Because that's going to cause problems. And also... Ladders. Just skipping the garlic entirely. But it's a good thing I had those pumpkins there so I can take off some of the ladders. I think the corn co the cob cannons can also do something about that, maybe? Maybe. It's gonna be a bit of a fight from this point on, I think. Yup, definitely. Oh my goodness, there's so many. There's so many. Hold your ground. Hold it. I don't know how you hold ground, but you do. That was a bit of a waste. Okay, steal my garlic. See how I like it. Oh my goodness, okay. Just fire. And repair time, let's go. Cool. Oh boy. What's the next round gonna be like? Oh, really? Really? Oh, really, 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 really. Cool. I like that. I don't like it. It's fine. Um, okay. I might not need those anymore, maybe. Although it might be nice to keep it just in case. Uh, I like the pumpkins as well. I am... Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Uh, um. I guess I'm going with this, maybe? Yeah. See if we can defend this to the end. Heard that, that's not good. They're consuming the garlic faster than I would like them to. I think we might. Oh, hey, look at that. That was a Yeti zombie. Surprised to see that. That's a very rare chance of that spawning, I'm pretty sure. But it only spawns after we see it that first time. Still very cool. Just keep firing. There's all these 
Melon Pult's doing stuff, so they should be able to keep things under control. Okay, let's replace that. Take a second to breathe before we go into this next round of chaos. That's not good. It's not gonna recharge fast enough. It's really not. Oh, they've done a lot of damage. Like a lot of damage. We need to make some repairs. Try to get things back to normal somewhat. But my strategy is out the window at this point, I think. All strategies out the window at this point. There's so many things. How am I supposed to deal with this? What just happened? Did I just actually just like my, my did my defense actually just do good? I think that's what just happened. Let's do that. Garlic. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! can't place there anymore, and I need more garlic stuff doing stuff. Final round? Well, that's a shame about that then. <laughs> cool. But at least it's the final round, so I don't have to worry about winning. I just need to let them die. <laughs> I don't know. I think we should be good. We're just going to lose a lot of ground, but that's fine. And there we go. That's all the trophies, apparently. Noble Pro Peas Prize? No, Noble Peas Prize. Gold Sunflower Trophy. Wow, you got all the trophies. Now it's time to play more endless games. And don't forget to tend to your, your Zen Garden. I don't... Yeah, I don't care about the Zen Garden that much, but now we have Endless Mode, which I'm probably going to do in my own time kind of thing, and then figure it out. I don't know, but we have one more achievement left, which is get to 20 flags in Survival Endless, which is in the pool in the daytime, so. But it throws a bunch of random stuff at you all the time, so I have to figure out what a good strategy is and work at it slowly, so. But anyway, that is it for now, I guess, then. Oh, look at that. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.